Let's find the oxidation numbers for each element here in CH3Cl. This is chloromethane. So when we look at chloromethane here, we don't have a negative or a positive sign after it. That's because it's a neutral compound. In a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. So that's important. We don't know the oxidation state on the carbon. Let's just call that X. Hydrogen, when it's bonded to a nonmetal, like chlorine here, for example, that's going to be plus one. So each one of these hydrogens plus one. And chlorine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. That's negative one with just a few exceptions. But here it's bonded to carbon, so it's just going to be a negative one. We said that CH3Cl is a neutral compound, so all of these are going to add up to zero. And we could just set up an equation. X plus 1 times 3, since we have three hydrogens, minus 1, that should equal zero. So X plus 3 minus 1, that's X plus 2, that equals zero. So we subtract 2 from each side, X equals a negative 2. So the oxidation state for the carbon in CH3Cl, that's going to be a negative 2. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element here in CH3Cl, chloromethane. Thanks for watching.